Oh my goodness. Did you did you see her eyes? We're back again to play some games. We're back with Mayday Memory. So last time we snuck into Hansel's apartment because we wanted to know if he's hiding anything from us. And I per I personally trust him. But uh, we met the orange guy. He was acting a little bit off. He's already a strange guy, but he was acting a little more off than usual. So before we start, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, follow me on my social medias or the description below, and we can get started. So last time, we got Hansel's memory. Deep sea. Now let's see if he has a tragic past like uh, Sid. Opening Hansel's memory chip, everything went cloudy. I could see Hansel on his knees and an unfamiliar guy standing in front of him. I could only see his long legs and shoes. His face was invisible. So it's not that it's not that far in the past. You no, know, because he's not a kid. Ugh. Hansel. It was you. I put my trust in you. Why did you, of all people, try to steal from me? Huh? Why aren't you answering? Distinct from the weak voice, the man violently stomped on Hansel's hand. Dang. Ugh. Hansel fell forward, holding his hurt hand while screaming in pain. Look at me. The man forcibly grabbed Hansel's face and raised it. I've had it with playing along with your games. I'm sad you think it's a game. It's really sad. The game you're talking about is the reason I'm still living in this tiresome life. It has nothing to do with me. Is that so? Does it really? I'm... I'm gonna put an end to living like this. Even though it might be a bit late. Seems like she stopped caring about you. Put an end? Do you think anything will change if you leave this place? Nothing will change, Hansel. Nothing at all. Who are you? Why are you so blurry? The man got up slowly. I trusted you. It's a shame I had to come to this, Hansel. The man brought Hansel in front of the strange machine. Do you know what I'm about to do? If you want to torment me, do whatever you like. I'll endure it. The man didn't respond and put Hansel on top of an operating table. In a re-signed manner, Hansel closed his eyes. Why are you closing your eyes? Open them. Show me your eyes. Your green eyes, that is. Hansel opened his eyes, staring directly at the man with his gleaming pair of green eyes. You have really beautiful eyes. I really like green. I don't. I like pink and purple, blue, baby blue, sky blue, burgundy. Because green reminds me of the forest. I don't like the forest either. Green, purple, hey, a world full of those natural colors like your eyes. At that moment, the man put his face right next to Hansel's, just enough to make his face visible. Look, take a look at my eyes. My, I can't see your freaking eyes. <laughs> you blurry as heck. If this is Hansel's memory, this Hansel, I, I know we're seeing Hansel in the memory, but is his eyesight this bad? <laughs> The light of the surgery table started lining up Hansel's face. Ooh, Adrian. That's, uh... Anne's switched... Brother, I don't know. Adrian. I'll make you dream. Like every day. I want to see things, I want you to see things as I do. Living every day trapped in a nightmare. It can't be that bad. Knowing how I feel struggling every day not to sink. Try it out. 
With that, the man pressed a button on one of the machines. A single sharp ray started cutting in the middle of Hansel's head. Dang. Ooh. <laughs> Is he an android? Is he a robot? I mean, that's not normal just to cut somebody's head. After we turned to the office, I watched the memory inside Hansel's memory chip. I didn't prepare myself for the worst, but my head was filled with cruel imagery. The guy in the video. I'm sure Hansel called him Adrian. That's right. Adrian. Do you think it's the same Adrian you found out about? I have a strong feeling that's the case. Slowly, everything was coming together in my mind. If that's the case, that means Hansel knew about Adrian, but has been pretending not to all this time. From what I can tell, it looks like Hansel was deep in the belly of the underworld. For some reason, I feel like I want to cry. I can't take this. You know, Hansel doesn't sleep much, right? Of course. He's worse than me. So you guys all have insomnia? I made a bet with him once, where the, where the one who stays up the longest wins. And I lost spectacularly. That's because of his nightmares. That's all because of that Adrian. I see. So if he falls asleep, he has really bad dreams. Hansel still denies it himself, but if that's the case, that makes him a full-fledged member of Vigil. Even with Sid's joke, I was unable to put on a smile. So he has a troubled past, and if he still has a hard time because of that, he should have told us. At least some parts of it. We could have helped. Try to understand him, Del. Even if you can't make sense of it. I do understand him. I've been in the same situation. Just like when I couldn't tell you about my past. It's even harder when you think. However, talking about your dark past to the people around you, weren't you wouldn't you be afraid? Mmm. I would. Of course I would be afraid. I have actually thought about that before. What if I get my memories back and I find out I'm a really bad person? I have wondered if I'd been able to talk about my past with others if that was the case. Ah, it wouldn't matter who you used to be in your past. I'm a very tolerant person, so I would embrace you with love and tolerance no matter what. At that moment, we heard the emergency signal from Jeff. Sid, Del, I think you guys need to get over here quick. You remember that time we talked about Chris? Whatever. The leader of the Neo Hippies? Right. Did you meet her? Where did you find out? We met. Chris told us she knew Adrian. But is that Chris girl alright? Isn't she still out of her mind like that time with the Neo-Hippies? She isn't. Chris is completely fine now. At least in that way. So does that mean she isn't in another way or what? I'll send you the coordinates. Feels like we'll have a vigil reunion soon. See you here. We better because Jeff is never here. We never see Jeff. It's always a hologram. Everything is connected to Adrian. The guy whose destiny was swapped with Anne. We made our way to Chris's house, using the coordinates Jeff gave us. It's a nice little, little house. Excuse me, Jeff. Yo. Oh, guys, you're here. Del and Sid. Del and Sid. Mode ran over to us while chirping, giving us a small but tight hug. Mode can hug. You guys, how long has it been? It feels like forever since we last saw. I know, right? Aw, oh, hearing that sounds like you guys missed me. I'm really touched. That's not it. That's not it at all. It's okay, it's okay, you guys. I told you it's okay to be honest with me. There was someone watching this noisy spe spectacle from a distance. Hey, what's good, Hansel? We broke into your house. I mean, I broke into your house. Did you get an alarm, alarm uh, notification? Cause I was there. 
Hansel, you bastard. You must have been through a lot. Sid, as soon as he saw Hansel, put his arm around Hansel's shoulders. What are you talking about? Del? Just ignore him. Surely he won't suspect that we looked into his memory chip. Let's just pretend to not know. Hmm. Anyway, look over here for a moment. Chris, this is Del and Sid. What's good, Chris? I don't know how to say your name. Soon I nodded politely towards Chris, but she didn't respond at all. Looking at her expression, she seemed to be in an unpleasant mood. Hey, I do not. Did you always look like this? And she got a full body? That's rare. What's good, Chris? Uh, I apologize. It's just that I've been talking a lot with Mr. Jeff and... My eyes hurt. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why? <laughs> because he's red? That's right. Chris went to the back, looked through one of the drawers, and pulled out a green piece of paper. She buried her face in it and started breathing deeply. <sighs> she crumbled the paper and threw it into the trash can and then seemed to finally acknowledge our presence. Hello, my name is Chris. I don't know why she did that. I am Chris. Nice to meet you. They say that neo-hippies protest our technological civilizations and refuse to use machines. But in her house, I could see multiple electronic appliances. I didn't really have time to clean up here. I'm sorry for the mess. I heard you were put in the correctional facility. That's correct. I was released not long ago. Chris spoke with a tired look on her face. You look really tired. Ah, a lot of comrades came to visit me to celebrate my discharge. I'm a bit drained from taking care of them. They show me a bit too much love. Chris smiled brightly as she said those words, but they lacked conviction. But when you say comrades, I recall a demonstration that, took in, that turned into a sea of fire due to the sudden appearance of the environmentalist and shuddered slightly. You must mean the Neo Hippies. Yes, the comrades who spent time together with me in the group called Evergreen. Even though what we did is a bit embarrassing to speak this proudly of, there are those like me who realize how horrible the things we did were and now regretting it. But there are still those who still don't admit their mistakes, still doing those same things, I'm afraid. But now, I mean, you are okay, right? I asked again, thinking back to the time I met Chris. Yes, I'm not sure if you know, but back then a weird video kept playing in my head, you see. I think all of us know the contents of the video. It's the nature video, right? Yes, that's right. Just like hallucinating, watching that video. It's like a forest spirit. No, it's like I have become a tiger running around in the forest. <laughs> Roar. I'll eat you up. Did you scare Moat? Moat quietly hid behind my legs. I see. This mental video was extremely vivid and and we were basically and we were basically people susceptible to things like that. Susceptible <laughs> sus s Susceptible? Yes, you see. Chris looked at Jeff as if she wanted him to explain for her. Del, you know what I told you at that time? When we were talking about new hippies that time, about them having a common denominator? All of them have been somewhere. Where was it? Now, why do you always ask me? You know I don't be listening to you? <laughs> I'm gonna say the memory market, because I don't remember. They had all been to the memory market. Right, okay. By their own will or not, all of them have visited the memory market. I told you that guess was correct. Think about those who went to the memory market to get memory surgery by their own free will. 
Why do you think they went there? Probably because they just wanted to change their memories. Oh my goodness. Did you, did you see her eyes? That's right. Wanting to get memory surgery means they weren't happy with their current selves. Probably because they were unhappy with their memories. Those kinds of people are easily caught up in madness. Oh my goodness, her eyes. While locking up, we came to that conclusion amongst ourselves. I see. The more you want to change something, the easier it is to end in madness. I believe that's true. Especially since nowadays it's difficult, it's difficult to find trees or forests. You're bound to feel more strong from watching a video like that, am I right? Yes, exactly. Even now, that verdant forest and all the trees, it's hard to forget. And I personally have always liked nature. When I was young, me and my parents saw a really big tree. That's when I started liking those kinds of things. Well, I think we're done with a rough background summary. Let's move on to the main point. You said you know Adrian. Finally. Yes, that is correct. Where did you meet him? Hearing Jeff's question, Chris sighed slightly and spoke. I met him at the memory market. Mm-hmm, okay, of course. Why wouldn't he be there? He's shady. Was he there to get memory surgery by any chance? No, that's not it. He was the one conducting the memory surgery? Then why? He's always there. The merry market, after all, belongs to him. Ooh. I gasped. Uh, damn. Hansel. The bastard named Adrian bears a grudge against Aeon, and being able to freely take memories decided to steal Aeon's. That person is a villain. This is clear as day. Sid. It's still too early to come to a conclusion. Let her finish. I don't know what happened to you, but if it's related to Adrian, you need to be careful. Do you know Adrian well? I think I need to explain who I am a bit more. First of all, Adrian and I am, in some ways you could say, friends. I felt it when I first went to the memory market and met him. I feel that we have a lot of things in common. Judging by what Jeff said, everyone knows a bit about my father. My father is the author of the file named The Past and Present of Memory Technologies. As you know, my father's name is- Oh my goodness, you know I don't be paying attention. Tate, right? That's right. Say, so do you know about him? Our family was har harmonious. But after my mother went into a coma after an incident, accident, that all fell apart. My father went to the forbidden field of researching memory technologies to try and bring my mother back, back to as she was before. Thinking of nothing else, he investigated those techniques to the point of being pursued by the police. That's when he found out about the existence of the memory market. Looking through my father's research, I found out about the memory market where you could buy and sell memories. I went through to buy happy memories. And that's why I met Adrian. Both having similar pasts, we felt a sense of kinship. Similar pasts? Yes, as a token of friendship, we exchanged memory chips. And I received this from him. If you look at that, right then we heard some noise from outside Chris's front door. Chris! Chris! You damn turncoat! What's turncoat mean? Open the door! Chris, open the door, quick. Veronica, open, open the door, please. Veronica, open the door. Who are they? You know, hippies, my old comrades. They were banging at the door so hard it could break. In that room, there was a memory chip. If you watch that, you'll be able to know a bit more about Adrian. It's a bit messy, but you can go watch it while I take care of my comrades. All right. Well, I'll be back in a while. 
With that, Chris went out through the door and we walked in Chris's room where the memory chip allegedly was. So, it's supposed to be somewhere in here. <sighs> An investigation. Adrian is up to no good. So next time we're going to look at Adrian's chip, I guess. Let me see. Ah, yeah, he's added to the uh, thing. Ah, he's a... Uh, we can romance him. Yep. I don't know, he looks kind of boring. Honestly, he kind of looks like Dell. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on my social media. It's always description below. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.